In today's session, we are going to talk about customer service. We are going to talk about what is the relationship between the sales and customer service, when customer service kicks in, which applications to use, and we are going to make some sense into all this department. It's very common that when we are starting to work with new clients, during the onboarding process, we will investigate which applications they are using for their different business needs. During this process, we will see that in most cases, they are using the wrong applications for their needs. As an example, let's assume that you will have a web development company. A web development company will rely on a salesperson or an account manager communicating with the client. While you are selling the solution, and also after you sold the solution, basically post-sell, the account manager or the salesperson will be in touch with the client. There will be lots of customers that they will use Zodesk as their customer service application, because this is what their developer told them to do, because the developer obviously is not a consultant. They cannot see the business side. They can see only the code side. So he cannot really choose the right application for the business because he's lacking the knowledge. Or the company themselves, they came up with this idea based on reading online, which application needs to be used on the Zoho side in order to run the customer service. If I am the account manager, the place that I work in will be Zoho CRM. Whenever the complaint is coming in, the complaint will come to me because I am the account manager. I am the one who is dealing with the customer directly. In that case, when I'm receiving the complaint, if I have Zoho Desk, I will need to log the ticket and then work on the ticket, which means now I need to jump from Zoho CRM to Zoho Desk. So now I'm dealing with two different applications. Another problem with this approach, in most cases, Zodesk will have a different email address or a different portal to log the incident. In that case, I need to tell you, hey, John, I know that you work with me on all your new requests, basically sales, but if you have a problem, don't call me anymore. There is a different email address. You need to shoot the email to them and they will take care of you. Not sure it will fly very good with the client because I am your single point of contact. This is the idea of you taking care of your clients. In that case, Zodesk can work, obviously, but it will not be a good business solution. The same way that I presented you this problem around web design, it can be in many, 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 many fields, including recruiting, including any type of service that there is a relationship between the account manager or salesperson and the client. In this specific approach, I would probably use Zoho CRM. And there are a few reasons around it. One, I want to make sure that the salesperson or the account manager are using the application that they are most comfortable with, and it's Zoho CRM. I also want to be sure that when they're logging the request, it will be in a place that they can monitor it and they won't need to jump between two systems. And that will be again Zoho CRM. If you look at my screen, you will see that there is a module named cases. Most companies will not use the cases and that's okay because it's not really a great solution. But for the purpose that I just talked about, cases will probably be a good solution. In that case, I will go to the contact whenever I'm receiving the complaint. And there are some companies that the mandate will be that any type of complaint will be logged in the system. And in that case, you will go to the contact from the left side, you will click on the cases and you will log in your case. Okay. 
and then you will even if you finished treating the problem and you solve it on the fly you will still need to log the case in place so that will be basically a request that the status will be closed immediately okay so let's say that i have here a, a client that is calling about the gold package and the problem came using an email it's related to the client and this is also the account i will mark the status as closed i will write here uh billing issue will be the subject and then i will have in the description needed some help uh, changing his credit card and then i will click on close let me just type the email here okay now if you will look at my contact you can see that there is a case and the case is closed now if there is an open case me as the account manager i can have a dashboard or a daily report that will show me all the open uh, uh, open cases or it can be assigned to someone else but the idea is that every time that there is a case the case is supposed to be solved now if you think about me as the account manager i'm always in the place that is most comfortable for me it might be that using the home page i will have a dashboard i will have let's say my leads follow-ups my deal follow-ups the open cases everything will be in one place so it's comfortable for me and i can do a good job versus jumping between zo crm to zo desk reading the tickets answering them learning a new system and how it works and so on okay also for the company obviously it costs more money to maintain a new system if you have a company that is using let's say selling a subscription as an example software it's common that you will have the salesperson selling you the software and then you're getting an email if you have any problem with the software this is our support department it's very common and then they will send the tickets and a completely different department will deal with those tickets because they know how to deal with customer service and they're used to it in that case zodesk will be a beautiful solution i wanted to create this session not only for customer service I wanted to create a session because Zo will offer over 55 business applications. And except Zo, you will also use many other applications for different needs from different companies. It's important that the applications that you're using will be after you thinking or consulting with someone that understands about the business world and also the technological side and together you decide which application will be the best application to use because that will save you lots of pain lots of time and eventually will produce amazing business results